Hey Beauty Squad, it's your girl TT. Welcome back to my channel of all things life, love, and of course, beauty. I have to say, it hasn't rained here in LA. Well, it did rain yesterday, I take that back. But it was like 70 degrees today and it felt so good to be back to normal. Cause I tell you, I'm tired of the rain so I know everybody else is. So I think uh, there's no more rain in the forecast. Thank you, Jesus. And we can, you know, keep some sunshine in our lives and in our lives and all the pretty butterflies that have just been coming up all over the place over the last couple of days. So that's actually been nice to see. But anyway, today I'm going to bring you my top foundations and my top powders that I have been using consistently that I just cannot do without. And I'm actually getting very low on a couple of foundations which is you know something that I didn't think I'd ever do one I ran out of completely and bought another one and powders I'm, I'm getting low on a couple so I'm gonna have to stock up you know again you know on some of those as well too but because powders and foundations a lot of times you know setting powders or whatever baking powders they tend to kind of go hand in hand so I'm going to bring you some of my top found foundations which I have about six some you know middle of the road some drugstore you know some high-end so a good mix there as well as the powders as well too so but before we get into this you know what you got to do you know what you got to do because you're already here subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the little bell so you know when my videos have been uploaded. I upload every Wednesday and every Sunday and I'm thinking about going to a third day because I've actually, I'm so proud of myself and sticking to my routine over the last, you know, few months of uploading, you know, twice a week. And it's a feat, right? And, and it could be a challenge and it's all about time management and working a full-time job and traveling and just you know life and and all that stuff like that but i still make time to sit down talk with you guys share my thoughts my reviews and upload my videos so that shows my commitment not just to myself but to you as well too and i appreciate all of you that watch and hopefully you look forward to my videos as they are uploaded on wednesdays and thursdays and again as i even debate on adding a third day because i love what i do i think it shows you know, in my work and with you guys, I value your comments, your likes, hell, your dislikes, you know, and all of those who subscribe to my channel. So I appreciate, you know, the, the feedback, you know, that I get and I take it and I use it constructively and try to improve because there's always room for improvement. So thank you. But anyway, we're going to get into my top foundations and my top powders that I am using right now and to me probably just will be using until the end of time. So if you want to see what those are, stick around. Okay, so let's just start off with foundation because I think that for most of us, or a lot of people, you know, in, in wearing foundation, you struggle, you know, with it initially until you get the hang of, you know, you find your your match, you know, your undertone and you find a brand or a couple of brands that actually, you know, work, you know, work for you best. And and as I said recently, I started using the Mac NC, the Studio Fix NC45. Again, I hadn't used it because there were so many. I had a few other foundations I had been using and I went back to using it and I like it. And it's just it's a great foundation but it's one of those i only just picked up recently so it wasn't in like my top six <laughs> foundation so let's just start off with our affordable foundations and i'm going to say the nyx can't stop won't stop and i love this foundation it's a full coverage coverage foundation and to me a little goes a long way and as i said a million times on my channel my skin is oily so I tend to gravitate to you know things that are kind of like a soft matte you know type of finish or if I do use something luminous I use you know a powder on top of it but this is definitely a great affordable 
foundation I will say as well as what I'm wearing today and I reviewed this recently on my channel which is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I'm 500 in this one and I'm Golden Honey in the NYX Can't Stop, you know, Won't Stop. And I'll say I really like this foundation. I think I reviewed it and it was okay. The concealer, mm, I've used it again a couple of times and I'm just not really feeling it. The foundation I like, it's mattifying. It doesn't, my, my oiliness doesn't break through throughout the day. And I love it. And again, this is definitely under $10. It might have been $7.99 or something like that. And you can't, you can't beat it. This is a great affordable foundation if I must say so myself. And it's kind of my middle of the road foundation. I would say Bobbi Brown, this full cover oil free shine foundation. I love this foundation and this is another one that's almost empty because I've been using this a lot too. I love the coverage and I love the finish of it. And this is one that works well with most powders that I use on my skin so I would definitely recommend this foundation as well as the Born This Way foundation and I am let's see in the Bobbi Brown I'm in Warm Almond and in Born This Way I'm in Brulee this is getting low this is the extended line that Jackie Anna came out with last year Jackie 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 and I like this foundation and you know again this is another kind of medium coverage buildable I like this foundation and it's really compatible because to me it you know foundations and powders really kind of have to go hand in hand and sit well together and this is one that definitely sits well with my powders now if we're going to go into some of the high-end foundations I have been using the Chanel foundation and that was a splurge <laughs> I will admit that is definitely a splurge but I tell you their newest foundation which they're calling a luminous matte and I tell you that stuff hold on I got it I got a sample of it first and then I went ahead because I love the sample and that's usually how it goes you love the sample and then you get in you're like eh. but I tell you this stuff here this is the the newest one like I said and it's a it's been marketed as a luminous matte. I know it's kind of an oxymoron there. This stuff works if you have oily skin. I, I just love this. Now there is a hint of perfume, but most Chanel products, beauty I've noticed specifically, they do have a hint of perfume in it, but it doesn't last all day. It actually fades, if if that makes sense. So it, it doesn't it doesn't stay on your face all day so but this is this is this is a splurge and this is a good one so this falls into my Pat McGrath category of special occasion because <laughs> at sixty dollars a pop I'm not gonna wear this to work every day I'm just not this is a special occasion foundation so another high-end two more high-end foundations the Armani luminous silk foundation now this is another one that's good that's compatible with the powders that I use and because sometimes luminous and oily doesn't always go together but you know you bake it a little bit you know in your in your t-zone area this stuff holds up well this is definitely a great foundation not as expensive I don't recall how much it is but it might be 50 bucks or 52 or something like that but it's a good foundation and I've seen a couple people still review this and still wear this and give it high reviews because it is actually a very very good foundation and I am 8.5 in the Armani Luminous now my favorite foundation that I actually ran out of which <laughs> really says a lot for me and that was my my Lancome tint ideal and I'm 460 this is what I ran out of this is how much I love this foundation and I wear this almost every day every day I ran out of this I bought this and I'm probably getting about halfway to this because I love the coverage it provides 
it is a smooth finish again another foundation that's compatible with you know the the powders the setting powders and the baking powders that I use and this is a you know most of them are 24 hour you know wear and have sunscreen in them in them which is you know very important but this is a I believe this is a medium you know buildable and it says transfer resistant but I haven't you know, I can't say, actually, I think I've hugged my husband and haven't transferred, so. But this is, this is my foundation here. This, this is my one here. This, this Lancome, this, this is the ticket here. And again, this is another one I've seen a lot of other, you know, people review and like and love and use it over and over and over again. So, that's my foundation collection. <laughs> not a lot. Not like my eyeshadow palette collection, which is just crazy. As I debate on a couple other palettes. But again, I'm only going to buy what I have to have. Powders! My favorite. So I have a, a good mix of powders. So I'm just going to... And they're kind of all over the place. They're, they're probably all about the same. Of course, there's always you know, one or two high-end products. I can't help it. I'm just a high-end, you know, product kind of girl. What can I say? But we'll start off with the obvious being the Laura Mercier. And I have her Glow Powder Tube, which is the bomb. And you can use that as a highlight or put it all over with your foundation. But I use the Translucent Medium Deep. Love this stuff. I, great, great powder and compatible with just about every foundation all that I just named, this powder is compatible with, with all of them. The Fenty powders. I use banana to bake and hazelnut to set. Do I use them together? Yes, absolutely, I do. Gray powder, you know, they're very, very finely, uh, I want to say milled, very soft to the touch. No scent to them, but... You know, it, it goes on well, just provides really, really good coverage. I like them. I'm not going to say I love them, but I really do like them a lot. I, I really do, and I would recommend these. This is what Fenty came out with, I believe, in January of this year. Great powders. You know, definitely recommend them. The Hourglass translucent powder I got just this is just the regular translucent you know powder I love the you know the sifter there let's see if you can see ah! <laughs> okay probably not the best idea Tanya and oh Jesus <laughs> as I got it everywhere you know it's a a great great setting powder that you know again is I gotta wipe this off because now it's all over the place. <laughs> it's a great setting powder that goes with, again, you know, it, it's got to be compatible to my foundation, not make me look cakey or crackly or my skin dry. But this one is definitely, it's definitely a great powder. And I, my next one is Beauty Bakeries. Flower setting power and I use this yellow one. This is probably the powder that I've been using the most I'm getting low on this so I'm going to have to order another one. This is a bomb ass powder Right here. I mean no flashback It it is just it's just a great powder and another one that's really soft finely milled you know, just you put it on your hand and, and, you know, on your face and it's just like butter. This is probably my favorite one, I will say, is this Beauty Bakery one. It's just a great powder. I know Jackie Ina uses this powder. And there's a couple other people that use this powder because it is a great baking and setting powder. Your makeup is not going to budge. And it's reasonably priced. I, I don't recall the price. But it's reasonably priced, especially compared to, say, you know, the Hourglass here, which, you know, might have been up there, you know, in price. The Fenty, they might have been 30 bucks a piece. I don't think this was this was that. But a great, great powder here. 
my splurge powder because <laughs> I told you I'm a high-end kind of girl that I'm wearing today that I love is the Chanel translucent powder and I am in translucent four and I watched Andrea Renee she uses it because she got it as a referral from someone else that she watches and me liking Chanel beauty products you know I got a sample and of course I love that it comes with this cute little Chanel you know beauty puff because that's just how Chanel rolls and it's just a it's just a pretty pot I'm not gonna make the mistake with this cuz this was expensive so I'm not gonna just randomly spill this on the table like I did that hourglass but and it's this is one of those a little goes a long way a splurge definitely a splurge but I absolutely love this powder too not like I do beauty bakeries <laughs> beauty bakeries but I love this I love this and then my final powders that I like are the Huda Beauty powders I use Kanafa and Blondie both great baking and setting powders and when they came out with these powders you know and the texture of them is so soft and I think who to set the tone for that really finely milled powder because that's how Fenty is and who came yeah well and Beauty Bakery was first and then how Chanel's is I mean it's got a hint of perfume though if that doesn't bother you too much then you'll be fine but again it's it's a scent that doesn't last a long time so it's you know it's you know it's okay it kind of it just goes away and you don't even think about it really after time you know over time or throughout the day as you wear it but you know great powders and because I have so many <laughs> powders you know I haven't used them recently because I've been using my Beauty Bakery <laughs> my Laura Mercier which is getting low and my Chanel powder now was this a special occasion mm, yes but I just like the way it feels on my face it's just kind of one of those things that just feels so so good on your face and but I, I tell you I, I still think my favorites probably <laughs> Beauty Bakery they're all great powders don't get me wrong and they all blend well with my foundations and I'm really picky about foundations because I really don't need a lot of coverage you know I don't have problematic skin or I don't really have problems with breakouts but the occasional pimple like this one right here but you know that's really about you know it for me so I and it takes me a while to go through some of them because I, I use you know such small amounts I just you know don't pack on the foundation I just will do a couple of maybe thin layers you know maybe twice over my face and then that's usually it which surprised me that I went through that Lancome foundation so quickly I looked up and it was gone and so I'm on my probably third bottle of, of the Lancome foundation so those are my foundation and setting and baking powder you know products combinations that I pretty much use pretty consistently and as I said some of them I'm getting low on and I'm going to replace them the foundation I'm wearing today the L'Oreal Infallible like this foundation along with the Chanel foundation go figure that L'Oreal and Chanel together it's a match made in heaven <laughs> whatever works for you right but you know all great powders you know all great foundations you know it just depends you know on what you're looking for and these are foundations and powders that are in heavy rotation they sit next to me on my my beauty tray here and I rotate them you know I'll use one you know pick one or two and use them you know all week and you know do that and so on and so on so I get through them all because you know we like so many we have so many different products and foundations and powders and all of this so I try to rotate them pretty much you know all the time weekly so I get through them and that's probably how I got through that Lancome <laughs> foundation so let me know what you guys think you know my foundation setting powder 
combinations, you know, my favorites, you know, right now and have been my favorites for quite some time now. So like, comment, let me know what you think what some of your go-to foundations and setting powders are because there's so many out there, but not all of them are created equal and not all of them are made for every skin type. So make sure, you know, when you're searching for foundations, you know, you you know your skin type if you're normal dry oily you know a combination you know if you want something mattifying or luminous or a little bit of both and then you know powders you know you want something that's not going to make you look dry or cakey or anything you know like that and there's a reason you know sephora and ulta you know beauty counters give out samples because you can test drive it before you buy it so but that's just me that's just my beauty advice for the week let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to comment, like below. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, your girl TT is out.